the best way to eat pineapple is, of course, fresh. Today, I'm going to show you how you shop for pineapple and how you cut it up when you get it home. When you're buying pineapple at the grocery store, what you need to do is give it a little smell. It should smell sweet and slightly fruity, and that's when you know that you have a really great pineapple. Also, the pineapple should be heavy for its size, and the coloring golden with a little bit of green is okay. You really want to look for the freshest pineapple you can. To remove the leaves, I like to use my hands here. You can also use a knife to cut away, but if you give it a slight twist, it just pops off right like that. This goes right into your compost bowl. And now, to prepare the pineapple, take a serrated knife. That's my knife of choice here, and I like to cut off the top end. Now I'm going about a half an inch into the fruit and you can see it's a nice beautiful yellow pineapple in the inside and I'm going to trim off the bottom end now too. So I'm going to create a flat surface in which I can stand up the pineapple and now I'm going to trim off the side. So follow the contour of the fruit. You don't want to go too far in because actually the sweetest part of the pineapple is right along the skin. This serrated knife really does a great job here. Trim away just enough of the skin. You might be left with some of the eyes of the pineapple here. The eyes of the pineapple are, are these little round kind of dimples in the pineapple. There's a really easy way to remove them without cutting away too much fruit. Now, if you have one of these little melon ballers on hand, I like to use this. The melon baller makes short work of removing any eyes. You can certainly use a paring knife here if you have one of those on hand and just kind of run it in a circular motion right around the eye, just as you would a potato or anything like that. So the last of the eyes are removed and now to make wedges with your pineapple. Take that same knife, cut down the pineapple lengthwise right through that tough fibrous core. Again, giving yourself a flat end so that your pineapple stays flat on your cutting board. And again, I'm gonna cut it in half lengthwise and now just to remove that center fibrous core, just as you would maybe with apples or something like that. Save these though, because I really like to chew on them. You can make wedges of pineapple however thick you'd like. So I'm gonna cut this in half one more time. And this is the perfect size for a fruit salad. You can leave the pineapple in a bigger piece and cut thin slices, and this is great for snacking. And of course, if you're making a pineapple upside down cake or you're putting pineapple on your holiday ham, I'm gonna show you an easy way to make pineapple rings. To make rings, we're going to repeat the process of trimming the pineapple and now lay the pineapple down on the side and cut rings. Now, you can cut them as thick or as thin as you'd like or as you need. Maybe I'll do a few thin ones. And the trick here in removing the core so that you get that ring is to use one of these guys. So this is a biscuit cutter. If you have one of these on hand, they're really great. The apple core might be a little bit narrow. Find a size that works best here and punch out the center. So there you go, you have a beautiful ring of pineapple. Now remember, fresh pineapple is best, so buy a ripe pineapple and use this technique at home. Enjoy, guys.